COVID-19, the COVID vaccine and cleaning a vaccination site. Welcome to the first part of this presentation of what is COVID-19 and the COVID vaccine. We will be covering how to clean a vaccination site in part two. The intention of this presentation is to give you the facts about COVID-19 and the COVID vaccine so that you can share accurate information with your colleagues and the patients you come into contact with. We also want you to feel confident about how to clean the vaccination sites. Let's start by discussing what is COVID-19. COVID-19 is a disease caused by a coronavirus. If you catch the coronavirus, you may have a fever, sore throat or cough. COVID-19 can also make it difficult to breathe and cause a change in your sense of taste or smell. It is important to know that the coronavirus spreads easily. COVID-19 spreads mainly when we breathe in small droplets produced when someone with COVID-19 breathes, coughs, sneezes, sings, talks or shouts. These droplets also land on surfaces and objects. Sometimes we catch COVID-19 if we touch those surfaces and then touch our eyes, nose or mouth. Let's have a look at what happens when you get infected by the coronavirus. Your body has an immune system or army whose job it is to fight infections. When you breathe in coronavirus, your immune system fights the coronavirus and tries to kill it. Often, the immune system kills the coronavirus, but sometimes the coronavirus overwhelms the immune system, making you sick. You might have heard about the COVID-19 variant. Here's some information about what it is. As viruses spread across communities, they often change to become more effective at spreading from one person to another or at making people severely ill. All around the world, there are new versions or variants of the coronavirus that cause COVID-19. In South Africa, we have a new COVID-19 variant called 501YV2. This variant has spread very rapidly and has made many people sick some even who have had COVID-19 before. So why do we need a COVID-19 vaccine? There are many viruses which cause diseases that can lead to suffering and death. We prevent those diseases with vaccinations. Our children get vaccinated in their first few years to prevent diseases like measles, polio and TB. When they are teenagers, they get a vaccine to protect against a sexually transmitted virus that causes cancer. We vaccinate healthcare workers to protect them from viruses they might catch at work. We offer flu vaccines to older people, pregnant women and those with chronic conditions as flu can be severe in these people. Unfortunately, there is no cure for COVID-19. Many people have been sick with COVID-19, some severely. Some have not recovered and months later are still unwell. Thousands of people have died from COVID-19. We have all lost social, educational and work opportunities because of COVID-19 lockdowns. For many, the suffering is greater than that caused by COVID-19. Vaccination will help to end the COVID-19 pandemic. It will prevent sickness and death from COVID-19 and will allow us to get back to normal life again. In order to trust the vaccine, it helps to understand how it works. There are several different types of COVID-19 vaccine. Some of them work against the 501YV2 variant. They train your immune system to recognize the coronavirus and prevent it from making you severely ill. They do this by introducing inactive bits of the coronavirus into the body so that your immune system learns to recognize the virus. Remember, these bits of coronavirus are not live and cannot make you sick. Once you have been vaccinated, if you do catch coronavirus from someone with COVID-19, your immune system recognizes it quickly and prevents it from making you ill. Different COVID vaccines work in different ways. Some vaccines require only one dose to provide protection, but most vaccines need two doses given a few weeks apart. The first dose provides protection and the second dose helps it to last longer. If we are not vaccinated, coronavirus spreads quickly and easily. 
It spreads between people who are not immune to it. Their immune systems do not recognize coronavirus and are not trained to fight it. Here you see how it spreads from one infected person to many people. So, once most people are vaccinated and are immune to it, coronavirus can no longer spread from person to person and so the few people who are not vaccinated are unlikely to catch it. To achieve population immunity, as many people as possible need to get vaccinated. Getting vaccinated will not only protect you, it will protect your family, your community and your country. There has been some doubt about whether the COVID vaccine is safe. It's important to remember that for over a hundred years, vaccines have saved millions of lives. Vaccine developers have used tried and tested methods to develop the COVID vaccine. The COVID vaccine has been tested in several stages. First, they were tested in laboratories, then on animals, and then in vaccine trials on tens of thousands of people around the world, including South Africa. Vaccine trials show that they are safe. They do not give you COVID-19. The vaccine does not seem to cause any long-term harm, and only a small handful of people had allergic reactions to the vaccine. The World Health Organization, the WHO, checks that a vaccine has been developed and tested in the correct way. The South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, or SAPRA, checks and approves all medicines, injections, ointments and other health products before they can be sold. Both the WHO and SAPRA have approved the use of the COVID-19 vaccines around the world and in South Africa. SAPRA will gather vaccine safety information as thousands of people receive the COVID-19 vaccine every day. Let's talk about what will happen when you get the vaccine. You might get your vaccine at your local healthcare facility, GP, pharmacy or other vaccination site. Your vaccinator will ensure you are registered on the electronic vaccination data system, the EVDS. You will need to sign consent to record that you agree to be vaccinated. Remember to wear your mask. Wear clothing that you can remove easily to expose your left shoulder. It is very important to tell your healthcare worker if you have had a serious allergic reaction in the past, if you are pregnant, or if you have a bleeding problem or take medication that might make you bruise or bleed easily. When you get the vaccine, your healthcare worker will sanitize or wash hands before giving you the vaccine. You will receive an injection into the muscle of your left arm, just below the shoulder. It might be a little uncomfortable. Apply gentle pressure afterwards, but do not rub it. Sometimes people faint when they get vaccinated. If you suddenly feel dizzy, weak or lightheaded, lie down or put your head between your knees. You should recover quickly. You will need to wait for 15 minutes after your vaccine so that your healthcare worker can help you if you develop an allergic reaction. This is very rare. When you are done, make sure that the vaccination is recorded on your vaccine card. And if you need a second dose, check that you have an appointment date. Many people have mild side effects after getting the COVID-19 vaccine, like feeling a sore or heavy arm at the injection site, experiencing fever or chills, a headache, fatigue or muscle aches. Don't worry, side effects show that your immune system is preparing to fight COVID-19. You may get them, you may not. Your immune system can still respond without giving you side effects. Side effects should only last a few days, maximum one week. If you need to, take paracetamol for pain or if you have fever or chills. If they get worse or last longer than a week, contact your healthcare worker. You might wonder if you can still get COVID after vaccination. Yes, you may still get COVID-19. No vaccine is 100% effective, but you cannot catch COVID-19 from the vaccine. You might have caught COVID-19 before being vaccinated. You might catch it within the first few weeks after being vaccinated when your immune system is still being trained up to fight COVID-19. Most COVID-19 vaccines need two doses. The effect of the first dose wears off after a while, 
So if you miss the second dose, then you could get COVID-19. But the good news is that even if you do get COVID-19, you are very unlikely to become severely ill or die from COVID-19. After vaccination, don't confuse side effects with COVID symptoms. If your fever lasts more than two days or you develop a cough, sore throat or changes in your taste or smell, you may have COVID-19. Isolate yourself and arrange to get a COVID test. The test is still reliable even if you have had the vaccine. Contact your health worker or call the Western Cape Government Call Centre on 0860 142 142. Even after vaccination, please stick to COVID prevention measures. Vaccines are not 100% effective, so you might still catch COVID-19. Studies are still examining whether the COVID-19 vaccine prevents spread of coronavirus to others. Until most people are vaccinated, we still need to protect ourselves and each other from COVID-19, especially those at risk of severe COVID-19. Those over 55 years, or with diabetes, HIV, TB, kidney disease, hypertension, chronic lung disease, or cancer. Let's recap the basic prevention measures we all know. Stay home if you are sick. Cover your cough. Wash or sanitize your hands often. Keep a safe physical distance from others. Avoid crowds and confined spaces. Wear a mask when out in public. Spend time together outdoors, or if indoors, open the windows. This is the second part of this presentation where we will cover the information needed to clean a COVID-19 vaccination site. This presentation will cover the following topics to help you do your job and keep yourself and others safe from COVID-19. We'll look at working safely to avoid spreading COVID-19, how to wash your hands properly, wearing PPE correctly, how to clean carefully, how to be careful with chemicals, and to manage waste safely. Work safely to avoid spreading COVID-19. Protecting yourself and others from COVID-19 is your responsibility. Always wear a mask to work, keep physical distance from others at all times, Wear your personal protective equipment correctly. Avoid touching your face while cleaning and ventilate your workspace. Open windows and doors. Wash your hands properly. If you can see your hands are dirty, wash them with soap and water. Otherwise use alcohol-based hand rub. Keep your nails short and clean. Avoid artificial nails as they are difficult to clean properly. Here are the instructions for how to wash your hands properly. Wet your hands in clean water and apply soap to the palm of your hand. Rub your palms together. Place one hand over the back of the other and rub between your fingers. Then swap hands. Rub your fingers between each other. Grip your fingers and rub them together. Rub each thumb and opposite palm. Then swap hands. Rub the tips of your nails against the palm of your hand. Then swap hands and do it again. Rinse your hands with water. Avoid shared towels. Dry your hands using paper towel if possible and use paper towel to turn off the tap. The correct PPE to wear while cleaning is the following. A surgical mask, reusable long rubber utility cleaning gloves, ideally up to the elbow if available. Otherwise, you can use disposable gloves. An apron, a face shield or visor or goggles, and closed work shoes. It is important to put on PPE correctly. Wash your hands before putting it on. Start with the apron. To put it on, slip it over your head and tie the strings behind your back. Use a bow, not a knot, for easy release. Then put on your mask. Secure each tie or elastic at the middle of your head and neck. Fit or mold the flexible band at the top of the mask across your nose. Do not pinch it. The mask must fit well against your face and below your chin. Then put on the goggles. Place them over your face and eyes and adjust the band to fit comfortably. Lastly, you put on gloves. If you are using disposable gloves, hold the edge of the glove as you pull it over your hand. 
Pull the glove up to cover your wrist and repeat for the other hand. If you are using reusable gloves, hold one glove open with one hand and slip the other hand in and repeat for the remaining hand. Let's have a look at how to take off your PPE correctly. Start by removing your gloves. If you are wearing disposable gloves, take the outside of the glove with your opposite gloved hand and peel the glove off. Discard as infectious waste. Slide the fingers of your ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist, peel off and discard as infectious waste. If you are using utility gloves, remove them carefully and place them where they will be washed. Next, remove your apron. Unfasten or break the apron ties. Pull the apron away from your neck and shoulders, touching the inside of the apron only, and bring it forward over your head. Turn the apron inside out, fold or roll it into a bundle, and throw it away as infectious waste. To remove your goggles, lift the headband or earpiece from the back. Place them in the correct place or container for disinfecting. Lastly, remove your mask. Untie or break the bottom ties followed by the top ties or elastic. Remove it by touching the ties only and discard as infectious waste. Finally, wash your hands again. In order to clean correctly, you need to have the right cleaning equipment. This includes a janitor trolley or a two-way bucket system, cloths and mops color-coded for different spaces, yellow for patient areas, red for toilets and sluice rooms, green for admin and non-clinical spaces, and white for offices. You need detergent, disinfectant solution, and disinfectant wipes. You also need to know how and when to clean. Clean very well with soap and water, especially if the area you are cleaning is dirty and then wipe with surface disinfectant. Focus on surfaces that are touched a lot, from cleanest to dirtiest, from the highest to the lowest, which is the area near the floor. Clean and disinfect general patient areas twice a day. Clean and disinfect chairs and the vaccination booths between each client. Clean and disinfect toilets every three hours. And clean and disinfect surfaces that are touched a lot, like tables, desks, taps, sinks, telephones and electronics with disinfectant wipes or solution every half an hour to an hour. You need to use chemicals carefully. Open the doors and windows when using cleaning chemicals. Use the safety equipment, the PPE, that the label says you should. Always wear gloves for cleaning, no matter what the label says. Wear goggles when spraying cleaning chemicals above shoulder height. Always use cleaning chemicals according to the instructions on the label. When adding cleaning chemicals to water, do not make the mixture stronger than instructed. Wash well with water if cleaning chemicals get on the skin or in your eyes. Always wash your hands immediately after removing your gloves. Let's understand how to manage waste safely. Sometimes coronavirus can spread if you touch surfaces or objects that have the virus on them and then touch your eyes, nose or mouth. The coronavirus is a virus that can be easily damaged by heat, chemicals and UV light. Manage waste safely to minimize the risk of spreading the coronavirus. There's no evidence of people being infected with the coronavirus from healthcare waste where the healthcare waste management guidelines are followed correctly. We shall look at how to manage sharps waste, medical waste, general waste, and pharmaceutical waste. Let's start with how to manage sharps waste. Sharps waste is sharp medical equipment that has come into contact with human body fluids, things like syringes, needles, and blades. Discard sharps waste in an appropriate size sharps container these are usually 5 litre containers. Once it is 3 quarters full, close and seal the sharps container. Clearly mark it COVID-19. Keep the sharps container upright and handle with caution to avoid getting injured. Let's have a look at medical waste management. Medical waste includes all disposable materials that have come into contact with human body fluids, like cotton wool swabs, PPE and linen savers. 
Use 50 litre disposable cardboard boxes. No reusable containers are to be used. Fit the box with two red plastic liners. When the box is three quarter full, close the inner bag with a cable tie. Then cable tie close the second liner, close the box and seal with tape. Next, enclose the box in another plastic bag. Mark this bag COVID-19. Store the waste safely and separately prior to collection by the waste disposal company. General waste. General waste is waste that is not sharp or harmful and is not covered in any body fluid. An example is paper wrappers which should be disposed of in the general waste bin. When this bin is filled, dispose of it as per the usual protocol. Pharmaceutical waste. There is not much pharmaceutical waste in the vaccination sites. However, every COVID-19 vaccine vial needs to be accounted for. If you come across any discarded COVID-19 vaccine vials, open or closed, hand them over to the site manager. Let's summarize what has been covered. We have looked at how to work safely and avoid spreading COVID-19, how to wash your hands correctly, how to wear PPE correctly, how to clean carefully, how to be careful with chemicals, and how to manage waste safely. You are so important to the safe functioning of the facility, the staff and the people coming through the site. Thank you for doing your job well and with care. Good luck and stay safe.